Hey guys, so if you've seen my videos on Area 27, then you've probably heard of the game Area 47. Basically, Area 27 is um, is a lot more serious roleplay, while this is lesser roleplay. Area 27 has a lot more rules, like um, the COE that you have to follow. But in this game, all you really have to follow is stuff like don't disrespect other people, um, and no bypassing the roblox chill filter and don't abuse like cuffs um so in this uh there's also departments that you can join like uh you can just join whatever you want you can be a deck d class if you want or you can be a member of the intelligence agency which by i think is cost robux yeah it costs 350. so i think what i'm going to do is i'm just going to show you guys a few of the departments um and like a few of the game mechanics like credits and quests and stuff so I think what I'm gonna be first is a member of the security department right now just to start off alright so I've just spawned in um, so basically there's this guy you speak to him and he, if you have enough credits you can upgrade your rank and the way you get credits is by doing quests and being in the game just gives you credits in itself. Uh, I think you can also be Chaos Insurgency and grind credit credits by going to the warehouse, which can be pretty, uh, yeah, see right here, the intrusion detected. Um, unfortunately, I can't do anything about this noise. Uh, I can mute my game uh, right now. So I think that that's what I'll do. Um, there's no setting to turn that off. You have to hear that noise. Uh, how, I hope moderators and game devs uh, fix that. So I think what I'm going to do right now is show you guys a little bit of what the place looks like. So here's the armory where SD spawns. You've got all these different spawns. Um, I think this is Sector 1. Yeah, this is Sector 1. Uh, in Sector 1, there's Gate A and all of the, the, a lot of spawns, uh, including, I think, Redacted spawn as well. Uh, let me see. Um, right here, yeah. So if we take a right right here, this is the FP spawn, and this is gate A, and there's a Chaos Insurgency right there. So this is actually a good place to guard as a security guard. You just run over there and shoot all the Chaos Insurgency. So I will be back once I reach gate A. Alright, so here is gate A. Um, basically, we just wait here to see if any... Um, yep, there's a guy right there. Alright, he's dead. Um, my health is a little low though. I should have grabbed a med pack. Actually, that's what I'm going. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'll just wait till I die. Actually, no, that's a bad idea. I'll actually run in there really quick right now, and I'll. All right, I'm just reached gate A. Um, so let me just turn up my volume. All right, the alarm isn't on anymore, so that's good. That's a little bit loud. All right. Um, unfortunately, when I run OBS, um. It does lag my game a little bit. Even if I go to full graphics like this, it just it lags. Usually when I'm at full graphics, it doesn't lag. But unfortunately, when you run OBS, it does cause your game to lag a little bit. So I think I just saw a Chaos Insurgency right there. So I will be ready to take him on. Let me just try to bait him. Uh, also, I got a many bag in the armory. So I'm pretty set to fight these guys. Oh, got him. Yeah, that guy was kind of an idiot. So yeah, this is basically what SD is like. Uh, let me try to do a different department. Let's do... Hmm, what should I be? Um, if you guys want in a different video, if I do another video on Area 47, if this video gets like over 100 views, I'll probably do another video on this. I'll probably buy Intelligence Agency and show you what that's like because I know a lot of people can't afford Chaos Insurgency. I mean, whatever that is, Intelligence Agency. So I think next I'm going to be Chaos Insurgency. Alright, so I've just spawned in. Uh, as you can see, we got the base here. This guy sells you stuff, I think. Also, I'm the max rank as Chaos Insurgency because I was grinding, bro. I got so much stuff. Uh, so anyway, this guy is the guy that you speak to to rank up when you get credits. So, so as you can see, he'll tell you you're at the maximum level. And this is actually the primary way that I get credits. Um, 
uh, by going to the warehouse and getting um, boxes. So what I'm going to do right now is show you guys where it is. It's actually really easy to get to the warehouse. Um, if you look at this door right here and you just go straight forward, you're going to reach the warehouse. So look, I'm going to... I'm going to pause it right here and I will be back. I'm only going to run straight forward. I'm not going to take any turns and you will see the warehouse. So I will be right back. All right. So right here is the um, warehouse. So basically every five minutes, this place will open and all you have to do is pass this door or you can run over here actually. Um, and it will um, initiate the really, really annoying alarm that has no way of turning off so once I run in here I'm going to have to mute my game like this because of how annoying the alarm is um, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to actually um, pause the video and I will be back once um, it is open all right I don't know if it's open or yet um, open yet so let me try to cross the line right now all right, we got one more minute. I don't think I will pause the video. I think I'll just wait because it's probably pretty close to opening right now. Uh, let me see. How about now? All right. What about now? I bet this open now. All right. Yeah, I'll pause the video here and just. It's probably going to be like 30 seconds, but whatever. Also, you can see that. Um. Uh, I have a quest as a CI, so I think I'll do that off camera because it can be pretty hard on camera. All right, let's try now. Yep, it's open. So as you can see, everything turns red. It, this really annoying alarm goes off that I'll probably have to mute pretty soon because it can be really annoying and there's no way of turning it off. So now we're just going to go ahead and raid all these boxes. I think you can carry a total of seven or eight. Let me see. Two, three four five right here and then six and then seven eight okay so the max is seven so now what you do is basically um you go over here you can or you can go over there to escape but you basically go over here jump over the fence and then you run straight this way uh, and there's a vent in the wall that um, you can deposit your shipment. So I'll be back once I reach the vent. Okay, I've just reached the vent and I'm going to go ahead and mute my game because this noise is really annoying and I'm sure it's annoying for you as well. So I'm going to go in here and basically you take a right, you take a right. And then instead of taking another right, you take a left and another right, left, right and another right and this guy right here so you click him once you 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 get your money but if you click him again then he'll do a tutorial um which i've died multiple times um ia can also camp this tu these tunnels which can be pretty annoying as ci but it's necessary because you gotta stop people from grinding so once you do that you go in the facility via this fence and um you can just run around and kill whoever you want now I think CI is a little overpowered because again you can use those vents uh, to do whatever you want uh, and like you just it's basically the same as teleporting oh that guy's on my team actually so I think what I'm gonna do right now is try to breach some SCPs uh, so I'll be right back in sector 3 all right, so I did die on my way to Sector 3, um, but now I seem to be stuck. I have no idea where I am, and if I try to reset, I can't. So I'm a little confused on what to do. Oh, yeah, I'll just go to the menu. Change team, uh, chaos insurgency, boom, like that. All right, let me try again. You know what, surprisingly, I think in this game, it's uh, a lot harder to breach an SCP than an Area 27. Um, I have, uh, before I did, uh, before I enlisted in uh, the security department, um, I was, in fact, a Class D, as, as you saw. Uh, I did raid before, but I, unfortunately, I couldn't get a video of it. So once I leave SD, which won't be for a while, uh, I'll probably make a video of it. 
because I don't want to go on as an alt because I'm pretty sure you can get banned for that. Um, but if I can get permission from someone, these dudes are on my team. Oh, that's who they're shooting at. Um, anyway, so I'll try again to breach an SCP, but it's a lot harder on, on, in this game because if anyone sees you, if they have a little suspicion, they'll just shoot at you immediately. Like right now, I look totally normal. This is actually the first time I've used my disguise kit as well. So if I walk, I should be fine, right? If I walk straight forward. But you actually know because if anyone in this game has a slight suspicion that you're CI and they shoot you, you're dead. But in the foundation, in the SCP-27, Area 27, there's not really anything else. I mean, sorry, I'm, I'm getting a little, a little off track. But here we are in Sector 3. These guys know who I am probably, so I'm going to go ahead and kill all of them. This dude is AFK. I have level 5 access, so I'm pretty sure I can go in here, right? Yep, alright, so let's go in here. Um, alright, what's this? SCP-076? Sure. Alright, how do I breach this guy? Oh, there's an annoying noise. Let me just mute my game. Alright. How do we get this guy out? So we gotta open the door, okay. Is he gonna follow me? Alright, I think this guy's broken. Let's go to another SCP. Uh, let me try 096. Alright, here we are at SCP-096, right? Yep. So, ooh, this one's a little weird. Is the intrusion alarm still on? Yep. Alright. Don't want to jump down there because I'll probably die. Alright, what's in here? Big ass containment zone. Okay. What does this button do? Do I press it? Oh, do I need my key card? I probably do. Yep, there it is. It's open. There's 076 or 096. I always get them mixed up. All right. Is he, is he drawn to me? Is he going to kill me? All right, I think this guy's broken too. He's not attacking me. Let me try. Open it again. What if I shoot him? Nope. All right. So he's definitely broken. Let me try... Maybe 352. Uh, I'm pretty sure that guy's not broken. So I'm pretty sure if I open this door and take a right, he'll be right over there. Right. Alright, I'll be back once I find him. SCP blank. Ooh, what's in there? Oh, I don't have shift lock on. Alright, let's see what's in there. Nothing. Okay, that's a little disappointing. Right, SCP-352 should be right here, 076, so 352 should be right here, yep. Alright, let's see what's in here. Oh yeah, isn't this one that's like really loud? Let me try to, alright, the thing is over, so we can turn up our volume. Alright, what's in here? Oh, you can probably hear that, it's really loud. I don't think I want to mess with this guy, because I'm pretty sure he's really fast. So let's try to breach something simple like uh, 049 or 457 really quick. So I'll be back once I reach those areas. Um, do I want... Oh, yeah, I kind of expected that. I kind of expected um, some guy bum rushing me like that all on my own. See, I was completely disguised, yet they just have the ability to shoot me. Even if, because if, if area in area twenty seven, if you did that to a foundation personnel, you'd you'd be blacklisted because you just randomly killed someone for no reason. But in this game, you don't even have to think twice. You don't even have to hesitate. You can just kill someone. All right, so let me try it one more time, and if it doesn't work, then I will end the video. All right, sector three is right there. Um, so the unfortunately the for me the MTF spawn is in there as well. So I got to be really careful Ooh. oh my god okay gotta get ready gotta get ready wait for them to come around the corner all right there's one down this gun is actually really op okay these guys are kind of bad all right i think we're good actually so let me run over straight to four five seven all right, we've made it, so at least we can breach this guy. Oh. Is he going to help me? 
Oh, Alright, we're teamed, we're teamed, we're teamed, dude. Alright. I actually gotta turn down my volume, this is pretty loud. Um, so I'm here with this guy. What's his name? My Life Dream. Alright, so we gotta breach this guy. Um, I don't want him to get in the way, though. Hey, can I just... Wait, can I just say... Can I breach on my own? I don't want to risk your life. Alright, thanks, dude. Alright, so now we're, that we're all alone, we can breach this guy. Um, so, let's... Uh, is this door ready? Alright, so we can open this door. Let me get my gun out, and let's open the door. So if you don't know this SCP, every time he gets a hit on someone, what just happened? Every time he gets a hit on someone, his speed will increase because he burns them. All right, so he's right there. Okay, I got to open the door. Come on, let me open the door. All right, all right. Oop, that's MTF. All right. Come on, 457. Okay, I can turn up my volume now because that annoying noise is not playing. Unless the insertion... Oh, boy. Alright. Okay, so... Here we go. So now we've actually started something. So I think... Four... Oh, that's 049. That's 049. That's 049. Alright, so me and this guy just single-handedly breached two SCPs. That's the administrator. And, of course, I'm dead. So I think that's going to be the end of this video. Um... I know this video was kind of um, um, a lot. Uh, I didn't write a script for this video, so I was kind of just explaining things as it came through my brain. So I apologize if some things are confusing. If you want me to make, make another video on Area 47, make sure to comment. Or you don't even have to comment, just if this video gets... If this video does good, then I will make more videos on Area 47. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing because it would help since I'm a small channel. Um, yeah, uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode.